Happening now, millions across the country preparing for today's solar eclipse. Here in the valley, the moon will only block about half of the sun, but up north, it will be the first total eclipse seen in nearly 40 years. Our chief meteorologist, Tim Smith, is live near St. Joseph, Missouri with more. Tim, what's going on? Good morning. We have been here since about 5 o'clock this morning. And when we got here, it was dark. There was nobody here. And now back here, there's a crowd. Over there, there's a crowd. We are at a winery. It's called the Tipple Hill Winery. And they opened their doors today to let probably about 500 people come and enjoy the eclipse here. And everybody's getting ready because we're about 35 minutes from first contact. At about 1140 or so, we'll have that first contact. And it goes total at about 107 this afternoon, 107 to 109. There's an issue, though. Look at that sky. Right now, it is overcast. We've had a lot of breaks in the clouds. We've had some rain, but right now, it is about as overcast as it has been all day. Now, we've been looking at satellite images, and off to the southwest of us, there is a break. There's a, a clear spot down to the southwest, and that's the way things are moving. So we're hoping that at least we get a brief break in that 107 to 109 time frame, that two minute, two minute and 38 second time frame. We hope we get a clear spot so we'll be able to see the sun. Now, the other side of that, and we've been talking about this a lot, and Everybody here agrees that whatever happens, it's going to be awesome. If we don't see the sun, it's still going to be awesome. If it's overcast like it is now, it'll get really dark. And that's because, you know, it's like right after sunset. If it's cloudy, it gets dark really fast. And if it's cloudy, it'll get dark really fast. And so we're anxious to see if maybe that turns out to be the case. If it'll get dark just on a moment like that, and then it starts to get light again. We know it'll get dark if it's clear, but if there's cloud cover, probably even darker. We've met a lot of people today here from all over the country. One of the young men we met, 12 years old, his name is Gabe from Independence, Kansas. He just walked up and started talking to us. He wants to be a meteorologist. And he says he's 12 years old and he's been waiting for this day for his entire life. Pretty cool. That's the kind of things we're seeing out here. A lot of folks, most of the folks here have never seen an eclipse. This is going to be their first time. So it's an exciting day. We'll continue. We've got, I think we counted 10 cameras mounted on our truck, mounted on tripods, mounted on the building. So hopefully we'll get a few good shots of uh, everything that's happening here we can share with you later on this afternoon. Live in St. Joseph, Missouri, Tim Smith, Channel 5 News at noon.